Hey everybody, today is May 5th and this is the third update to my pear series. So not much has changed since the last video, but I did something different that I would like to share with you. So for the uh, tango foot that I've been using to sort of like keep ants and other pests from climbing up the tree, uh, it's getting very hot now, so um, uh, the tango foot recommended that you don't put the paste directly onto the, the bark of the tree. So uh, I remove um, that off of the, uh, see the old paste off of the plant, and then I put the cup here, and then I put that paste around the cup. So that way, if the pests come out of the soil, it has to climb through the cup, even outside or the inside. So there's no way for it to go onto the tree unless it goes up this cup and then there's a barrier right there. So um, that's, a, that's one way to recycle your cups and uh, create a barrier for, for ants and other like uh, caterpillars and stuff like that. And this tree still has two fruits still growing okay and here is the Korean giant and I did the exact same and because this one here has a stake so um, the cup kind of didn't fit so I just flip it upside down and I made it so that uh, it's a smaller opening right here and still the, it has to go through the barrier anyway to get up up the tree so not not much is the happening for this guy it's grown a little bit and here is the four in one and I'm still having problems with those um, cucumber beetles and I find a few every morning that I have to take off the tree so but the pears are growing right here and I thin most of everything out <laughs> I wanted to leave a few so I left two at the top and then one right there and then one here and then one there okay so the middle ones is uh, also two fruits not many so I taken most of everything off of the tree but each branch has its own fruits And there is the barrier right there. That's, that's the I think that's the McDonald cups or something else. And then this is the other Shinko. Nothing's happening much. S same as it looked in the last update. Oh, here's the McDonald cup. So there it is. So that's a, a good way to reuse those cups and create a barrier for your tree. And then if the base is too large, I'll show you what I did. <laughs> okay, so here's my persimmon. And you see the stake and the tree is pretty far apart. So it's a pretty big space. So basically I took a gallon jug or maybe one of those large container and I did the exact same thing. So if the base, you need something larger, then use a larger container. So that's the barrier around there. Okay, we will be back soon and I will give you guys another update later on in the season. Alright guys, today is July 7th, 2019 and here is what the pears look like. So the fruits have gotten a little bit bigger. This is the one that's uh, in a pot and we have so much strong wind here and it keeps blowing the tree over so the last time I went out of town I came back the tree was on the ground so it was laying there for a while and uh, it damages uh, a lot of the leaves uh, thankfully the fruits are, were okay so uh, this one is not doing as well as the other plants so the tango foot uh, thing worked but the problem here is I allow these volunteer plants to grow into 
the trunk of the tree and then the the ant would <laughs> use these as a bridge to get onto the the, the pear so uh, make sure to clear anything that's around there don't let anything grow uh, that's the only way for the tangle foot there to work so uh, I should have just cleared these here but I didn't so anyway that's what's happening so here is the one in the pot fruits are pretty good size only two and uh, it's not the healthiest uh, looking pear trees so I'll show you the other ones alright guys here is the second shinko pear tree and this one is planted in the ground and it is much healthier than the one that is in the pot so I may have to take that one out and put it in the ground somewhere so again uh, there's a lot of volunteer grown around the plant and it's causing the tango foot not to work because <laughs> this plant is acting as a bridge for the ants to go onto the tree easily so make sure you clear those out so this plant is much healthier it's putting out new growth the leaves are very nice and healthy and the fruit is still um, a little small it's looking fine okay and here is the Korean giant and it was once a very small and short plant and it uh, actually grew double because when I bought it that is where it is and it has small branch right here and now it grew some sides and then it's actually grown look at that all the way up here so I think I'm gonna have to prune this once uh, winter arrived because I don't want the tree to grow too tall I want it to be short maybe six seven feet at the most so it's grown really well and the best and my favorite plant or tree is this four in one and it is doing amazing um, the problem I had with this tree is that there were some stink bugs or the foot uh, leaf footed bug and it comes and it would sting the, the pear so it creates marks right here you see those undesirable marks so if you see stink bugs uh, stuff like that just make sure you get rid of all of them so that it doesn't cause any area to be depressed so you want it nice and round so these are the fruit fruits that I left after pruning most of everything off you see so these are really nice amount and as I mentioned a while ago the fruits can get really big so it's gonna weight down the plant and so that's why I have these stakes here and then I tie each of the branch to the stake and that helps support the fruit or else it'll break and I need another one for this middle one here you see it's very flimsy and the fruits are getting bigger and bigger so I need one for that as well and oh man this one is kind of splitting but that I'm just gonna let it go so that one's okay and then this one here has smaller fruits so uh, it's looking good everything is looking perfect as I want it for the for the season all right guys today is July 28th 2019 and this is going to be the last update to the pear series because some of the fruits have ripened so there's really not much left to uh, to show so um, these fruits ripen up much faster than I expected I thought it's going to be in September or October but um, they're ready now and the reason I know that was because the birds have come and they have eaten many of the pears so uh, this center one here I had two fruits and they ate all of it and that one over there had a few and they ate it as well and so after finding all of these uh, fruits being eaten I started to cover the fruits up and it actually worked so um, they have been covered for about two weeks now and no birds have come and the damage is uh, nothing <laughs> so this one here I think is, is uh, the let me see Shinsiki this is it right here 
So this one is nice and ready. You see how um, the color changed? It's sort of like a, a brighter golden color. And in here as well. So these are also ready. And this one, let's see what that is. This is the 20th century pears. And they are also ready. As you see, they, they turn sort of like a bright, brighter color. So like orange, yellow. So the other ones, I didn't get any fruits for, but I'm still happy with what I have left. So I will be picking those uh, in a day or two. Okay, and this one here is the Shinko. Looking beautiful, nice and healthy. And the fruit is not yet ready. So this one is probably the one, the variety that takes much longer. So I think in September, October, that one should be ready. Pretty nice size. But these should get much larger. Uh, the reason they're still small is because the tree is not very big. So if I allow the tree to uh, get much larger, the fruits will be much bigger as well. Okay, and this is the Shinko that's in a pot. And the fruits have gotten a little bit bigger as well, not yet ready. So I have just two of these. Okay, and the Korean giant here, or the Olympic, it's looking very healthy, it's growing a lot. So that is pretty much it for the pear season. And uh, maybe next season I'll start it over again, but I think next season I may not let them fruit because I want them to focus on growing. But this, this season I just wanted to see what the fruits look like, so that's why uh, I let them fruit. But uh, that's it guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave below and thank you so much for watching.